show up right uh, in a little bit. Don't worry. As soon as it does, it'll be really great. Anytime now. Thank you. Ah, shit. Can I have the in-game overlay on this one? No? Okay, cool. That's totally fine. Don't even worry about it. Put that away. Play with Jank. What? Ah, this shit. This is getting too real for me, bro. What? Over here trying to play with me, dog? Nah, dude. Nah, bro. Don't do that, bro. I don't know you, bro. You gonna, you gonna scare me, dog? Don't, don't do that. <laughs> I have it. Sorry if it's frozen right now. But yeah, ta da. <laughs> Currently waiting for my tabby boy to finally connect to that. Alright, there we go. Alright, you can see the thing slightly moving, you can hear my voice, you can hear the game. Is everything a-okay right now? Got some... some jazzy tunes going on right here. Yeah. Alright. Seems okay to you? Alright, coolio. Can I use a controller? Looks like I might be able to. Oh, I can. Nice. All right. Without any further ado, let's get in the story. Let's see. Now, how do I. Oh. Is there. Wait, do I unlock people? Uh, through playing the story? Oh. I'll just play normal. Doesn't look like I can choose any other characters. I have to start as Arthur? Alright, cool, yeah. I'll do that then. Happy people have no past. Act one, Arthur. Hmm. All right, let's do it. Pressing A to continue. What we got, what we got. Redactor. Mm. 
for victory over communism. Oh, heavens no. <laughs> oh, God. I have told the judges that they're going to vote That's me. I'm Arthur. It is very dangerous to put your hands outside the windows of the train. Arthur, where are you? I should just take my joy, shouldn't I? Nah, don't be a bitch. I'll remember. Scrabble them out. Oh. Yeah, okay, here, Joy. Pussy. Pussy. been up to no one's seen you for oh, hours hi. oh nose to the grindstone you know then why haven't i heard a single whoosh through the door since 10 o'clock did you forget we're having deirdre's birthday party <gasps> we've got a pinata ah. oh. right brilliant of course have you forgotten your joy no <laughs> of course not snug oh. as a bug on a drug well come on then finish up uh, just have a few <laughs> more snug pages as a bug on a drug. Uh, i know you're very busy <laughs> then don't take too long to finish well, that, that was mine. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess I'll stand up. I'll take that. It can't be this hard to finish up a day's work. Look, ma'am. I, I think I know <laughs> what I'm doing. Okay. Don't. Don't give me that. When scrap gathering prize, June 4th, 1947. We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. That's what we'll do. Exactly where all the old cars and prams and things were in the garden district. Wow. The scrap will be melted down to be used to support the war effort against the Soviet Union, which is all, by all reports, going splendidly. The brothers' record. Oh my. Huh. Where all the old cars and prams and things were. I wonder if there were people in that. Alright, well, fuck it. Screw you. A happy society is built on a happy past. I'll keep that there. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. Don't want to miss the pinata. Now? I'm a little oh, busy. Wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. Jinping's <laughs> clarifies restoration procedure. May 7th, 1947. Uh, Jin Ruble. I don't know what that means, gentlemen. I don't know. By the municipal liaison to the occupation authority appeared on the parade street last night to speak with the. To a crowd of citizens urgently requesting clarification of the new child registration rule. As most Wellingtonians know by now, all children who will be under the age of 13 by July 22nd must be registered with the authority. General. Bing. Binge? General Binge clarified that the deadline for restoration is next Thursday. He refused to speculate on the rational. No, on the rationale for the regulation, uh, registration reg regulation. I cannot illuminate the regulation any further because Colonel von Stauffenberg, Stauffenberg has not informed me of its purpose, stated the general. Ah, general. General, okay. 
I imagine and hope that it has something to do with the main with maintaining nutrition for our growing children in this time of scarcity. But the I have not told me so explicitly. He reminded the crowd that the occupation has so far been extraordinarily or orderly and peaceful, and that citizens continued obedience to legal orders of the OA is crucial to maintaining goodwill within our visit. <laughs> Hmm. Do I want this one? Hmm. Huh. I don't see a problem with registration. Registration. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Registration to what, though? Well. It's time for reckless abandon choice. I don't care. We'll just let it go. I think not. <laughs> uh. yeah, it would be nice if this thing could, you know, allow me to uh, a description of what the pros and cons of such a thing were. Uh, for these things. Drug trials a qualified success, says Sir Robert. 3rd of March, 1952. The first round of trials of a new anti-melancholic medication have been qualified success, stated Dr. Alexander Gross, acting head of Melancholia Studies Laboratory at the Royal Victoria Hospital. The drug reduced melancholic feelings in 28 out of 30 d <clears throat> disburdened rats over a 20 day period. What? Despond uh, despondency can be induced in rats by repeatedly giving them electrical shocks. D despondent rats take up uh, to twice as long to navigate a maze. After administration of the drug, previously despondent rats regained up to 50% of the navigation speed before administration of the shock, stated Dr. Bruce. The drug now has to be tested in, in human volunteers. Citizens who wish to apply as a potential volunteer, there is already a waiting list, could do so at the Royal Victoria. Hmm. Well, that sounds... T hmm. 28 out of 30. Now, is this antidepressants or is this force happy medication? If it's force happy medication, uh, don't be a bitch. That's rather inconvenient to the history. Get out of here. <laughs> you silly Billy. Alright. No more canisters. I suppose we could just stand up. What are you? What are you? What are you? Is it a coffee warmer? What the hell is that? Hmm. Alright. Well, up we go. Ooh. All Hastings, employee of the year. Department of Archives, Recycling and Printing. Sitting on Wellington. Was it? Wellington Wells. Hmm. Wellington. Neato. Ooh. Wow. Is there a way to zoom? No. Did you know there are no rats in Canada? Why would they like the cold? If you guys did have rats in Canada... Man, those must be some furry bastards. Mouse smoothing? Ah, yeah, cover that. Keyboard mapping, gang paid controls. Ah. What have we got? Jump, crouch, interaction. Ah. Secondary interaction, attack shot. Oh. Nice. Mm, shove, I can shove with right stick. Huh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Uh -huh. I have quite a good feeling about the combat system in this game. Supply these changes. Uh, Alright, the pill's gone. Nice. I'm not in Canada. 
I mean, you could be. I don't know. Bunch of empty stuff. Why don't we have anything in here? A bunch of useless cabinets, I think. Hmm. This place is too clean for me. I don't like it. Do you think the Whoa. canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Of course, he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody. Uh, well, I mean, it's not alive. It's not like it cares. I mean, we could do that if we wanted. It requires a lockpick. Oh! Client birth whistle. You're off at the party, aren't you? What is this? Ah. A letter from Miss Binge. How do I... Ah. Uh. Where's the controls for the, for the... What are you? Inventory or something? Wait a minute. Is it now your inventory? Hold on then. Wait. Oh, don't tell me I... Oh, fuck. For fuck's sake. Really? So you're saying I have to have... Am I a happy man? No. Why would I be? What? What, 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 what do you mean? What, why are you asking that? Why the hell? Really? So what is this button? This button not do anything for me yet. Do I not have an inventory yet? So then what? Ah, lockpick. Fantastic. So, what the hell? How am I supposed to get my inventory out if I can't have an inventory in the first place? So then, you see, there, there's a share button that I could utilize, but it doesn't seem like that would even be a thing that I could do. I wanted to read that now. I think this is just the tutorial. The tutorial the, the Whatever happened to you, Prudence? Oh. Oh, gross. Hmm. Redactor. No power. Hmm. Are you off your joy, Pro? I mean... You too. Hmm. Perhaps I'm just not able to get the inventory menu until later on through the tutorial? Ah, You're really? not coming back, are you, Prue? But where did you go? Hmm. Maybe she went to go see the world or something. My summer holiday. Hmm. She went to all these places. Simon says team tournament grand prize winner. Wow. Annual double dutch competition. Oh dear, I am not very good at double dutch myself. Hmm. Maybe I can take my, my power cell and put that in. Check what's going on there. What are you? I don't want to go yet. I want to get a power cell. Maybe I can get this one. Yeah. Nice. Alright, I'll close that. Nobody has to know. Alright, let's see. Let's use the redactor. What have we got? Hmm. <sighs> 
Bolshevism agent Europe Gala is smash. Agent uh, August 22nd, 1945. The new and exciting exposition, um, Bolshevism against Europe, had its sparkling gala at City Hall last night. 88 invited lu <clears throat> luminaries, including the new Queen of the Wellington Wells stage, Jane Morris, as well as the members of the exec Executive Committee and, of course, Sir Robert Binge and his eye-catching daughter Victoria, attended the glorious function. The exhibition is now open to the public, Bolshevism Against Europe, mounted by the Wellington Wells Committee for an anti-communist action. Uncovers the secret history of the Bolshevik movement before it's taken over Russia, the murder of the Tsar and the creation of the Soviet Union. It traces the hidden connections between the Soviet Union, the British Labour Party, and the Roman Catholic Church, and the Freemasons. Ooh, yes, please, I would like to know about that. Finally, it reveals the insidious perfidy of communist fellow travellers, even now within our own society. Visitors will now learn how to be on the alert for communist conspiracies and propaganda. The exhibition, which is free to the public, will continue through November 15th. Oh, and what time is it now? Well. Hmm. September, October. Ah, yes. So there will be time. There we are. Remember to turn in your automotive. August 22nd, 1945. Colonel von Stufenberg reminds citizens that all private automotives, uh, automotives have been requisitioned by the municipal authorities on behalf of the Imperial German... Uh, oh, ew, gross. And must be turned in by October 2nd. Why would you... Taking our cars away? What? Owners are to bring their vehicles, which must contain at least a one-quarter full tank of petrol to the train station. <laughs> You're gonna force that, okay. To reduce queues, vehicles with license plates ending in 1 and 2 may be returned in may be turned in on Monday 3rd and 4th, on Tuesday 5th and 6th, on Wednesday 7th and 8th, on Thursdays, and 9 and 0 on Fridays. A fine of a hundred... Uh, uh, what is that? Pence? I don't fucking know. Will be levied against the registered owner of any m automotive not turned in by that date. The fine for an empty petrol tank is 10 whatever. I don't fucking know. I don't know, you little fucking weird British monies. Owners with a current municipal exemption, of course, are not required to participate. With a current municipal exemption. Oh, fuck you, get out of here. Uh, oops. Wow, she is a really ugly lady. With a really ugly daughter. Anyway. <laughs> ah, what is this? Margaret Worthing will open Battle of Flowers. Hmm, Battle of Flowers. Wait. Thursday, July 2nd, 1946, Miss Margaret Worthington has been crowned the Junior Field Commander uh, <clears throat> Commander of the 1946 Battle of Flowers, which takes place this Sunday. She will lead the annual flower parade accompanied by her father, Jack Worthing, former lead actor of the Will Kemp Traveling Players. She was crowned last night at the Garden Gala by 1945's Junior Field Commander, uh, Sally Boyle. Miss Worthing was selected, according to the organizers, because of her spectacular victory garden. We were all amazed how many different varieties of exotic flowers she's grown, all while help helping her feed her family with her vegetables. The Battle of Flowers dates back to 1920, when partic uh, participants in the flower parade decided to dismantle their floats and attack each other with b blooms. The battle has become the traditional end of the flower parade. Ah, sure, why not? That sounds cool. I'd visit. Why not? Alright, how many more have we got? This last one? Alright. What do we have? Oh. Hmm. Alright. Police arrest four in Breeder Riot? What? 6th of November 1951. One man, Ranulf Aldry, uh, and three unmen, unnamed women uh, 
were arrested in what the police are, are calling another burrito riot su Sunday night. The victims, Miss Anne McCutcheon, 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 I don't fucking know. Uh, McCutcheon appears to be in stable condition, as is her husband, Mr. Cyril, Cyril, fuck, I don't know your names, you guys' names are weird, <clears throat> Mr. Cyril McCutcheon, there is no word yet of the condition of her baby, whose birth was not expected for another two months, the arresting officers, PC John Constable, stated, it is dangerous for women who are in a family way to strut their condition about. Frankly, it sets people off when decent folk are doing the their level best to forget. What? Condition? What do I mean? What? I don't fucking know what this is. Maybe someone else can fucking teach me if I just approve this. Oi, oi. Hello, John. What's good? Oh, God. Why do you have to be that way? I'm just trying to play a game. What do you have to ruin it with singing? You stupid bitch. I'm gonna take that parasol. Taking the power cell, nothing in the cabinet. Is there anything else? Probably not. So I'm gonna open up the door and get the hell out of this place. What are you? Uh... I did take them. No, no, leave me alone. I took my joy. I took my joy. Uh -oh. no. No, leave me alone. No. Ah. Well. Oh, hi, Arthur. Oh, hey, how's it going, buddy? Okay. She was in a condition pregnant and was attacked for it. Oh, that's that's really weird. That's really weird. That, that's really weird. So my family and I have a COVID scare currently. Oh great, so I'm not sure when I'll be back at my granny's to set up my room and my PC. You were gonna set it up at your grandmother's? I thought you were at your dad's. Look at that chair. That's a really weird chair. I don't like it. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. Wow. You know that changed? Ah, I was unaware. Requires lockpicks. Where am I going to get lockpicks? Is someone crying? No, it's laughing. That's the opposite of crying. <laughs> oh, okay. hey. I'll take that. Why not? But this game's storyline is weird and stuff. Played and ended up getting stuck in a death loop. Weird. Wow. That's You're Jack. Being in Wellington Wells means never having to say, I'm sorry. Now, thanks to modern English science, we have the perfect fix for the blahs. Never be afraid to up your joy. Only you know how much you need. Or just ask a doctor and he'll fix you right up. <laughs> Even if you've got to ask him to. <laughs> but look, there are some things that joy won't fix. So it'll certainly yeah, no backseating. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't, 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 don't say anything about the game. just having a lot of trouble getting out of bed. What could it be? Ask yourself a few questions. Do you feel pain in your bones? Are you having trouble catching your breath? 
No. They look like what? Well, you may have scurvy. Scurvy? Congratulations. This is one of our traditional English enemies. And like all traditional English enemies, we beat it before. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we'll beat it again. With so, limes. England has traditionally ruled the seas. Rule Britannia, Britannia rules the waves. Britain <laughs> never, never, never shall be. I don't want to take a happy pill. <laughs> and that means that our ships. I am comfortable being depressed. Don't force me to be happy. It makes me feel weird. I could do with some salt pork right now. But if you eat nothing but, you're going to get sick. You see, your body needs vitamin C. And biscuits and salt mm -hmm. pork don't have any vitamin C. So educational. The sailors and long English voyages would get sick. And they didn't have joy to make them feel any better either. <laughs> well, a lot of Englishmen put their scientific brains to the challenge. And it was soon discovered that fresh vegetables would cure the problem right away. Mm. Right. Well, Captain James Cook discovered that if he took limes on board, limes. Who are the sailors? Yeah. How do you think? How do you get sailors to drink lime juice? It's delicious. Because you put it in their rum, don't you? They're not going to give up their rum, are they? Mm -hmm. Even if it tastes a bit limey. And once they were drinking their daily rum with lime juice, they were liking it. That was called grog. Yes, and that's why we Brits are called limeys because we learn to put limes in our grog. Citrus fruits are just packed with bitter. So delicious. So, why are you getting scurvy when you're not on a boat? Well, I'm afraid some of you have been a bit naughty. <laughs> bread means that you're not having your traditional English two veg. Mm -hmm. Some of you aren't even eating your potatoes. <laughs> not <laughs> even their potatoes. Bread does not contain vitamin C. And if you're eating millet bread or moss cake, while they taste perfectly acceptable, they're not good sources of the sea. And I'm sad to say, though, I'm just had quite a taste for it. Victory meat does not contain any vitamin C at all. Canned mm. and preserved meats are generally very poor sources of vitamin C. Now, if you were on Captain Cook's ship discovering Australia, New Zealand, and Hawaii, you just have a bit of grog, then, well, you'd be right as English rain. <laughs> but you probably haven't seen a lime or an orange or a lemon in a few years, and, well, neither have I. Not to worry. No spoilers! Do I have a happy mask I can put on? I didn't even know that was a thing. Shush! Shush, 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 shush. You're all set. And if you can't get fresh meat, then most fresh veg contains lots of vitamin C. Now you're going to have to restrain your cooking instincts a bit, because if you boil veg so they're nice and gummy, you'll boil out all the seeds. Yeah. Make sure you eat some of your veg fresh. Gummy veg? Ew, disgusting. Remember, lots of weeds contain vitamin Scurvy grass is named for stopping scurvy in its tracks. Sorrel has 40 milligrams of vitamin C for every 100 grams you eat. Chicory has 24. Clover wow. and dandelion are smashing sources of vitamin C. And <laughs> they're all around us. In fact, I think it's safe to say that just about anything that's green that grows <laughs> in the ground contains... I'm sure you did. <laughs> so in a pinch, let's go down to the neighbors and ask if they die terribly if you ate their tulips. <laughs> I'm sure they'd be reasonable. And remember, no matter what, make sure you're taking enough joy. There's no excuse. No. That. No, that, no. I don't want to. Well, I'm afraid it comes to the end of our time. Tune in again next time when we'll talk about malaria. Sadness it's helps me remember time. things. <laughs> people survive it. This is, Joe. this is Dr. Jack Worthing saying my prescription for you is... Jack Worthing. Well, well, well. No. All right. Bye, Jack! Unless you're still gonna stay here. Oh, you're frozen. Oh! Oh, it reset. Oh. And welcome to today's edition of Well, 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 <laughs> the show where we talk about how to be your physical best. Now, some of you have written in about feeling malaise and lethargy. Now, these are vague symptoms, and the first thing I can recommend to you is if you're feeling a bit down with the dumps, Pop another joy. 
Everybody wakes up feeling a little uh -uh. bit down sometimes. I, I missed this part. Down. <laughs> and oh, there we go. You never have to feel bad that feeling bad. In fact, you don't have to put up with it at all. Being in Wellington Wells means never having to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, thanks to modern English science, we have the perfect fix for the blast. Never be afraid to up your Locked. Gotcha. Oh, hey. There you are. Ew. You nearly missed the pinata. It's the most adorable Spanish Ew. custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it! Hit that it. sounds painful, John. Hit it! Yes, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, oh, gross. They look blue. Oh. <gasps> you are off your joy. Take one of mine. No. Oh my lord, he's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. Hey, what's wrong with being a downer? Fuck you. Ever why is everyone hate me when they find out I'm just always going to be sad? Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. <laughs> my goodness, nobody likes me. It's just like real life. Oh god, <laughs> go, go, Arthur, run! Fuck. No. No. Come on, then! You smell gas? Flaming Nora. Forget it, there's no time. Happy is the country with no past. Running away is a perfectly legitimate tactic. Generating world. Laying out map features. Compacting world. Wow. Planning future. Oh. Placing buildings on city blocks. Adjusting terrain for buildings. Mm. Oh, what? Well, oh, planning foliage. foliage. Mm. Once you're out in the world. I'm sure, I'm sure. It's a little beyond the human village. Yeah, I've really. I've really wanted to try this ever since I heard about it. Just like I, I, I had to choose between Vampire and this game, um, which I'm totally fucking glad I chose Vampire first. That game is epic as shit. But this one, I'm glad I finally got to the, to the point where I can get it. Thank you, effort, for getting it for me. Oof. Yeah, he already found someone. It's lotion. <laughs> uh, Christ. How far did those bastards chase me? They were bridges, weren't they? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. I think they took away my pipe. Damn, it's just like real life. <laughs> All right, nothing explicit, nothing explicit, Those fellas. Seem to have me Enough in. explicities. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Terribly thoughtful of them. Well, now it lets me do that. Oh, I have to find like a little dude. Okay. Food and drink, anti drugs, weapons, assets, computers, quest. No, oh, no. What about documents? Where's the documents? Ah, where we go. Oh. There we go. Handwritten letter. Letter. And here's the letter. I'm what I. <clears throat> in what I am almost positive is Clive's terrible handwriting. Dear Director Binge, uh, one of your employees is a subversive and may even be a downer. I overheard him in the commission <clears throat> in the commissary telling a friend that that he thinks that his job of redacting old articles is silly. 
And what's so scary about the truth? He is very tall and slim with black hair and brown eyes and glasses. I know I should uh, have asked him his name, but I am naturally uh, I am a naturally shy woman and... And there it leads off. A shy woman, are you, Clive? Or just a nasty, manipulative schemer? Oi, no more explicitities. Enough of your degeneracy in the chat. Oh, look, Miss Binge has written a Clive a letter. Dear Mr. Bert Whistle, it is so thoughtful of you to suggest how best to rearrange the, the, the department. I am always grateful for suggestions from junior staff of how to best do my <clears throat> of how best to do my job as director. However, I am uh, afraid that it would be <clears throat> destabilizing to swap your office with that of Mr. Hastings. Fortunately, turnover in this department is high. If Prue doesn't return soon, I don't see why you couldn't have her office. In the meantime, I suggest you pop another joy and you'll feel the sunshine on your face, whether you have a window or not. All the best, Victoria Binge, director. Take that, Clive, you little shit. <laughs> what were you thinking? Well, Arthur, you've gone and done it, haven't you? Not only <clears throat> rather spectacularly, quick, quick, hmm. What? This is this is weird, worded weird. Not only rather spectacularly quit your job, but you're a downer now. The townsfolk will unleash the hounds, or they would, if we hadn't eaten them twenty years ago. Gross. The wa the wastrels do not seem terribly friendly. I hope they aren't really cannibals. Oh God, I'm I'm one of them now, aren't I? I've got to get out of Wellington Wells. I've got to get over the bridge and off the islands, which means I've got to get back into the parade di district, don't I? Which I was just chased out of. Brilliant. Question, what in dog's name were you thinking? Answer, Percy. I saw his picture from just before we put them all in on the train. Oh my. I know you're a degenerate. I expect you to at least behave though. Why did I tell the Jerrys I was already 13? They were only off by 10 days. Why didn't I keep my mouth shut and get on the train and go off to Germany with him like I promised him? I can't remember. But I promised him that's got to mean something. I've got to go find Percy, wherever he is, and make sure he's okay. P.S. How long have we been eating rats? Yuck. Wellington under. Objectives. Oh. Ah, this is... Okay. This is my exposition. October 10th, 1964. So that's what the day is. Where the hell am I? Somewhere under the Garden District, I think? I suppose I won't know until I get topside. I just... I need to find some way up and out. Hmm. Well. We have a map here. It's too bad we can't really use this. Normally. I assume this is crafting. Ooh. One available in inventory. A Jimmy bar. Hmm. I wonder how easy it is to get a sink it to inventory. Ooh. What is that? What? Is that me? Irritates the wrong sort, though? What do you mean, the wrong sort? Where to conform in the village or parade district? Ah, disguise. Ooh, super duper. Ooh, I would like that one. 
We're gonna need to get points though. Choke out taller enemies. Ooh, that sounds. <clears throat> yes, I would like that one as well. Negative effects of hunger, thirst, and exhaustion. Well, these certainly are quite useful. I suppose the unburdened will be have to, having to do first, and then. Uh, I can work on stealth. Arthur, though. Defensive and sarcastic. Oh, that's me! Oh, no, it's not me. Repressed! <laughs> Run quite fast. Can hide in plain sight, example on benches, if not in line of sight of angry people. Oh, I assume these are the ones that I already have. <laughs> I run quite fast, apparently. <laughs> nice. Ah, nice. Coins. But what are you? Can I, like... Can I, can I do anything? Oh, I'm forced to stand up. When I punch. Well, I guess I want to put in my weight for my attacks. What the, who the fuck is over there? Ah, delicious toilets. Yes, yes, yes. What is this? Can I break the light? God, Lord, it's too bright. Hey! Diary of Prudence Holmes. Was this a mistake? It seemed so clever to disappear first, rather than trying to brazen my way across the bridge. After enough joy, they'd forget they'd ever known a Prudence Holmes. Beastly Clive would take my office and they'd forget anyone else was ever in it. But now that I'm here, I wonder. Should I have put my trust into Mr. Kite? And where are his bloody instructions? In the abandoned house. Yes, but which abandoned house? They're all abandoned. And how to deal with all these... wastrels. My god, they look like something out of Dante. We chased someone out whenever they wouldn't take their joy, but we never really thought about where they went. And how to deal with all these wastrels? Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I knew we chased him out. Da, da, da. Ah, there we go. I knew we chased him out when joy made them sick, but I didn't know it was here to starve and weep and remember. I assumed they were sent to a sanatorium, a decent hospital. But I suppose that's what I wanted to believe. We are all complicit. We know about nothing, and we and don't want to remember, so we don't. My God, I can't wait to get back on the mainland. Really did run off. Huh? And she ran this way. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I'll see her again. Maybe, maybe not. Ooh, nice tunes, dude. Nothing here. Oh, I can now go in my, my inventory. Hell yeah. <gasps> Bobby pins! Yes! Well, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to read that, but whatever. Tie a string, 4th of October 1964, to Mr. Rupert Underhill, Station 4, from Jim Watt, Chief Engineer. Dear Rupert, are you quite certain Teddy's off his joy? Perhaps he merely forgot. You've got to look after your mate's man. Have you tried tying a string around his finger? That always helps me. Anyway, I can't reassign Teddy because I have, haven't got a replacement. All the juniors are off at uh, Scargill. The subsidence has been serving, uh, severing all sorts of connections, and the, and the model name must flow. I don't know how to fucking pronounce that. I really appreciate you st your sticking by your post. If we don't do our duty, who are we? But try the string around the finger. I feel certain you will manage the situation. All my best, Jimmy. Huh. Can I have this radio? I'd like to bring the radio with me. Ooh. Yes, please. 
I'll throw this person here lonely. Well, I don't want to go there, and I do. I want to go back in, into the into the place. Ah, sealed. All right, fine. Ah. <laughs> ah. Dang it! I don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Back. Back. Don't do that. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't freeze on me now. Get in here. And then we go. Bell. There. Why is it so dark? I don't remember it being that dark. Mm. Yeah, you're right there. No problem. <laughs> you did redeem it after all. <laughs> Oh, is this it? No. So where the hell? I guess I came through... That way, I guess. I'll need some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. Did that one move? Really weird looking lockpick. Do I have a hammer to do that type of thing with? How the hell do I do that? Weird. All right. There we go. Two bobby pins. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. It's a lot easier than I thought it might have been. What happened to him? Or rather, who? That's a happy mask, isn't it? John, you lied to me. There's happy masks. Shame on you. No, you don't have anything. No, not a happy mask. Promises. Hmm. Oh, a memory? Half may going to hurt us. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But, but, but they hurt the city. I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered. I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for. We'll look out for each other. Oh. Rupert Underhill. I forget if my name was Piercy or whatever. Brother's name. Hmm. 
I guess he was convinced to take off his joy as well. Diary of Theodore Minor. September 18th. No real year on it. Or maybe it was this year. Hmm. I look into the lights like the doctors ordered. I could swear I see shapes in there, moving around like shadows, but made of light. And there's shadows all around, uh, always around the corner. He keeps turning lights off, says he wants to save the bulbs. He's trying to make me think I'm going blind, isn't he? How he loves to feel superior. September 19th. Took two joy just so I could stand his ugly face. Why won't it work? Has he swapped them out for something? Paracetamol? Jelly beans? Jesus, we haven't had jelly beans since... Have we ever had jelly beans? September 20th. I hate when he talks in that slow, condescending voice. Like I'm a child. I'm not a child, am I? I don't even know any children. Obviously. Jesus, what is wrong with my joy? September 22nd. There he is scritching... Uh, there he is scritching away at the corn in the corner. Scribble, 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 eh, Mr. Gibbon? And, when, and then the whoosh of the <clears throat> pneumatic tube. He's blaming it all on me what happened, isn't he? He says it's his missus. I don't believe he's still got a missus. With his big, mossy teeth. I bet she went on holiday long ago. Was I married once? How did it end? I get an awful feeling in my stomach. I'm not sure I'm going to enjoy remembering. Something is all fucked up about DeJoy, and he won't send me home. We've got to stay here. Duty! September 25th. I can hear him crunching in the dark. It isn't rats, it's his big mossy teeth. I lie awake and picture squeezing his throat till he turns the color of my carrot he bloody well stole. He's plotting something. September 28th. Let him try to weasel out of this one. I saw him writing those lies. Reassigning me, will he? Off my joy, am I? I'm bloody well tripping up. Uh, tripling up and he knows it. Tripling. October 6th. <laughs> we come to end our time. What? What are you talking about? Clearly he went mad. Hmm. I can sleep. Oh, I can hack. One time use, I guess. Oh, fuck. Hi. Rude. Hey. Take your joy. No, why? Who the hell are you, buddy? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you want to shove then? You want to shove now, huh? Why well, don't you take that, huh? That's the first fight I've won since primary school. <laughs> Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. Theodore Minor. Well, at least I know I still got it. Ah, oh, he's still alive, don't worry. Yeah. There we go. Come on. Come on, Theodore. Mm. That didn't really seem to work now, did it? There you go. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Alright. Requires lockpicks. Tucked in real well. <laughs> I thought so. I, th I think I did a bang-up job. Hmm. Nice big shiny button. I wonder what this does. Ah! An escape hatch. Right oh. Hmm. Did I leave anything else? No, no, I better go right here. 
seems like I'm not. Pneumatic stash. Oh! Unlimited storage. Ah, how delightful. Too bad I don't really have anything to put in there. Goodbye, Theodore. Too bad I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet. Hmm. Unlocking fast travel hatches will allow you to quickly and safely travel to other ha unlocked hatches you don't have. You can also select any unlocked hatches, no matter where you are, as long as you're not busy and being instantly magically teleported to it. <laughs> ah. I see. Well, I'll close that just in case anything decides to come about, come along. And you know, ah, they were taking care of each other, and then you just went there, I suppose. Excuse you. Yeah. But now you have to wake up with that and live with yourself in the morning. Let's get out of here then. in the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Brilliant. Ah, the train station. <laughs> if I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days, we could remember where things were. Escape Wellington Wells. How convenient. The hell? Carolitz Tamins. Well, you don't have anything. What happened to you? You look like you're all malnourished. That's a bit sad, isn't it? I'll take that. Why not? Right in a mushroom. Why would I need that now? Surrendered Dorothy. Is this a drone? What are you? Missile? Oh. It's really nice that they added the, the uh, ability to like climb on that thing. Just climb wherever Aries. you want. They grow all over the Garden District, don't they? Well, I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. <laughs> a call in the middle of nowhere, right now. This is for the benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit got into the garden. The rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret message. <laughs> Well, it sounds like I'm the rabbit. I think. Hmm. Kitchen is the key to victory. Grow your own vegetables. This is a room in a bottle. Hmm. Auction Old established auction rooms and bastard. Maybe we can go to the uh, the optometrist and have them make us some nice glasses. I could really go for some spectacles right now. Can I search you? No. No. Apparently not. What else do we have here? Ah. Some nice rubbish. That's a lot of dogs. Must be nice having a horse to just start freaking walking a bunch of dogs with. Really make a lot of money with that. As long as you have some good freaking 
leashes. That way they don't snap on you so easily. Not much winter day in it. Hmm. Hey, boys, rank. If I'm happy on drugs, am I really happy? <laughs> oh, boys, rank. Is there such a thing as false happiness? What I'm saying is, is there a true self? Hmm. So that's something that I can open then. What about you? This one looks like it's stuck. There's still that tower. I am coming for you, about. Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. Maybe I should check that other place first. Some sort of watchtower. Ooh, shovel. Weapons will break after repeated use. It also upsets people when you carry them around openly. Ooh. Can I repair them, though? Quiet for digging also deals more random damage against mortal opponents. Chance to stun not durable heavy. Huh. So does, is that a no on the repair thing? Is it, am I ever able to repair anything later on? I wonder. Oh, I can't even. <laughs> I can't even actually climb. It just forces me all the way over here. Dig spot. This doesn't give me food poisoning. I probably will. People somehow never notice Arthur when he is sitting down unless they're already enraged in him. This doesn't work at night though. Okay. So I see him. Ah, yes. Nice. We'll do that then. I don't think this was here before, but okay. Continue on then. Loose screw branch and die. Sure. Why not? Why was that even in the trunk? You would think they would put something a little more, I don't know, useful in there? Get rid of that then. There wasn't any other way around, is there? Oh. Freddy Camp. Oh, bother. Didn't really have anything on you. Pocket expansion kit. Well, thank you, Freddy, for leaving something so useful. You truly are a generous soul, even in death. Shame you had to die, though. So 
So let's see. A proper suit. Hmm. I still need more cloth scrap. Easy pockets carry more things than Christian. Can I use that? Wait. Hey Banks. Yeah, effort um Effort redeemed face cam. Hmm. Oh, it just upgrades my stuff in in general. Hey, Biggs. Bobby Pin. I seem to be damaged. Rotten mushroom. What do you do? I gave his plant spores past its sell bias. Past its sell bias, so you could eat it if you had to. Increase the maximum food value. Can cause food. It can be used in crafting. Well, I can still eat those. They're not terribly filling. Oh, it takes time to. Okay. I wonder if that stacks. Oh. Oh. Well, I can't automatically climb anything whenever I jump. What are you? Quest found heal thyself? Oh, it's one of those little weird blimps. What are those things? Collect two Gilead petals. Hmm. Percy once told me how you could make a healing balm out of rose and Gilead petals. The red flowers, aren't they? Wish he was here, he'd know where to find every rose of Gilead in the entire garden district. Of course, if he was here, I wouldn't be in the garden district at all, would I? This game isn't only on PC, it's also on console. If I'm the rabbit, then this must be Wonderland. Nanny's tea party. Do come in on your in your finery and remember your manners. <laughs> I have no manners, thank you. Just gonna take all this stuff. You're a very big cat. Can I have that helmet? Oh, hey, Joy. A rose of Gilead? Ooh. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Maybe I can make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds. Otherwise, I'll never feel better. I thought better. that was riding. 
I have the nails. What kind of tea pony is that? Clearly a mad one. Campfire. Now yeah, that's because there was it wasn't a top hat. I don't know if there are top hats in this game. I don't even think that is the header. It looks like a Cheshire cat. Wish the abyss would stop looking back at me. I mean, no, it doesn't look like a Cheshire cat. I'm just saying it's just it, it looks more like a Cheshire cat than that because it's a cat, you know. There was a cat in Alice in Wonderland. Oh. I can't, I can't, okay. I have to be at a certain angle to look at that. Gotcha. I'm getting a bit thirsty. I better find something to drink. Where's a pub when you need one? But There's a pump on Barrel Home, isn't there? I'm gonna drink because it's been researches. Doing all right. I'm gonna go awake and back here. Okay. Rotting meat. Rotten right carrot. Rotten right apple. Well, I don't really want any of this. My body is a temple, and I refuse to consume any of this. Yeah, I don't care. Rock. Gotcha. Apparently you can also pick up rocks. Gotcha. Rules of the Garden District. Don't steal. We have little enough as it is. You're welcome to visit, but do be sociable and have a chat. There's a, ni there's a nice fellow. Three, sleep in your own bed. Remember Goldilocks. Four, you can eat any fruit you find except the fruit of the apple tree. The bobbies will kill you. Except the fruit of the apple tree. I thought the Garden District was a wilderness of lawless lunatics. Apparently it's just got its own rules. I'd better figure out what the other ones are. Listen, Linda. Listen. Listen. I was drugged up. I didn't know. And I actually didn't consume that. What I'd give for a cup of tea. That time. And yeah, well, <laughs> stay away from other people's beds. Get out of here. It's, it's not your bed. Get out. Get out of your way. <laughs> yes, that time. <laughs> you see, if I had a choice, I would. I would have said no. If I knew, I clearly would have said no. Requires night. Oh, I have to wait for it to bloom. Interesting. And very odd. Look, 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 Linda. I... I am not... I am not against the killing of rodents and pests, okay? I just don't want to consume them. Just don't feel like it. Especially raw. You know, maybe if they cooked it, I might have tried it. But they didn't. So I didn't. And I'm sure that free-range rats are a lot tastier than ones that were bred. I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't give a fuck. I'm pretty sure that <laughs> it would taste better if they were bred. And, uh, you know, ate well. Well enough. Is that it for you?
Nice, 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 nice. How high can I jump? <laughs> apparently. Joy apparently has experience in eating rats. Ah. Well, I hope Mrs. Hudson feeds Sparky and doesn't eat him. What? What do you mean, why? Maybe it was her pet. And she liked him and didn't want to eat her pet. <laughs> I'm sure you got one. <laughs> Join Germany and we shall fight together against communism. <laughs> when will they stop crying? I wonder if they meant the kids on the train. Lovely rotten potato. I'm not sure I want to eat it. I suppose I could. Might throw up. Percy told me you could make a sort of gorilla antiseptic out of it if you have a chemistry set. Hmm. Percy, that's my brother, I assume. Everything is quite all right. Nighty night. Sleepy tight. Everything's tucked out of sight. Hmm. Everything is quite all right. Nighty night. Sleep is tight. Everything's tucked out of sight. My fair lady. <laughs> What's on those beds? Oh, God. I'm not the only one remembering the children, am I? Makes sense. They're all off their joy out here. Can I have that record? I like that. Oh, I have tea. Nice. remember how to make a lockpick. And I also remember I have lockpicks. Genius. Nanny. I am sorry to report that the girl Spoon wouldn't eat her porridge. So I sent her to bed without supper. Nanny. What a, what a terrible nanny. <laughs> Kids got on without eating whenever they didn't want that. Wonder how many nights they starved. A toy tea set. Funny. Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. A toy tea set. Funny. Percy never played oh, with toys. I can just do that over he and over again. Didn't like anything that got wasn't it. really the thing it was supposed to be. Mechanical bits. Mm. 
Okay. Thought there would be some scrap right there. Shame what happened around here. I suppose I can head on over to the little town of it. Since I don't think that there's more things around there. What are you? Water. Hmm. I always I listen to what this. Uncle Jack says. Well, I have to fill up the canteen or two, shouldn't I? Canteen. I don't have a canteen. Get out of my face. Jemima Farrell. Sorry to bother. Ah, canteen. Thank you, Jemima. Aunt Jemima's now dead. Shame. But what can you do? It's a lot of, a lot of eyes. A little odd. What are you? Food didn't used to go rotten this fast, did it? The clown. Hmm. Ooh. Nice toolbox. They seem to be pretty clean, unlike in the village where they spike it with joy. I remember. Oh God, I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. Like a man. I guess these are all people that were dead. Hmm? Where are they now? Probably dead. <laughs> Monday. I'm not a downer. There's no excuse for those people. I'd take joy happily if only I could. Oh god, I wish I could without puking my guts up. How could joy work for years and then cruelly stop? I miss the butterflies and rainbows. Must think of the butterflies and rainbows. Not the horrors that push into my head. Tuesday. I miss Hamelin Page. Uh, Hamelin Village. I strain my ears for the sound of Simon Says across the water. Growing up, I couldn't wait to get out of uh, to get out and see the world. Now all I want is a cup of tea and to stop feeling. Thursday, I think. Slept all day yesterday for um, maybe two days. The grey blurs into itself. Friday. The flowers in the garden district mock me, bursting with color in this place of misery. Why do they cast us out of the village? What's it to them if we can't take joy? It can make them all... It, it should make them all happier knowing they can. Saturday. 
Oh god, oh god, I remember what we did. Shame. I like the wallpaper. The O'Corrant. To the editor. Enough with the bleeding heart editorials. The agitators that were hanged had it coming. If they had destroyed the register of children, the whole town would have been destroyed. Stick to reporting the football scores and save the uh, editorializing. We don't need police looking for every Tom, Dick, and Harry that took care of those outlaw parents. What are the police going to do? Arrest the whole town? George Thomas Howe. Colonel retired. I think that's what that means. To the editor. I must uh, vigorously disagree with your recent editorial regarding the vigilant action against the saboteurs. These selfish parents attempted to destroy the registry of children so that their own would not have to be hostages. Their actions were a slap in the face to every family that <clears throat> that has a, sent a son off to war. We must all do our duty. By long English tradition, cowards are hanged to encourage the others. Surely saboteur cowards deserve no better. Miss Victoria Binge. Am Apple Home. Months and months and months. How could we? Hmm. Lots of darts. They were so small. Shame. <gasps> it's in months and months. Oh, now you just. Oh, that's a bit risky. What happened to Goldilocks? Oh, I can't. I can't get it started again. Continue. What's the name? What are you? Taxi. Thanks to a bit of British ingenuity. The Bell Pit brothers, who were too ill with measles to take the train last week, will be able to join their playmates after all. General Bing... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna call it Bings. <laughs> General Bings is off. his dispatched a taxi to drive the youngsters to Bristol, where they arrive just in time to board dispatched a taxi... <clears throat> Ah, General Bings is off his dispatch a taxi to drive the youngsters to Bristol, where they arrive just in time to board the German Ocean Liner, taking them to Bremerhaven. It was certainly a challenge to find a working taxi in these times, noted the General, but we must all go above and beyond. The O'Courant wishes the Bell Pit boy is a bon voyage aboard the St. Louis. <laughs> General Bings. <laughs> Oh, hello. Well, that's terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. I can't believe I'm doing this. Why not? They might have some interesting. What is that? Chance of durability, duration of crafted items. Oh. Neat. It's getting dark out. to sleep. <laughs> oh, that's about it then. Terribly, terribly sad, absolutely dreadful, but what can you do? I must be heading on out and checking out the rest of this place now. What are you? I oh, think you are the tea party thing. Hmm. 
I do believe that was it, right? I suppose it was this place as well, but... Hmm. I've been up there as well. Oh, I've been up there, I've been up there. Have I been up there? Oh. Might have been just something similar, but maybe not. Oh, hello. hurt me. That hurt me. Is this set in the 50s? What? I don't know. Probably. I don't fucking know. Hold on. So I guess? It's more like the 60s, I, I, I think. Welcome back, John. Yes, we remember. You don't have to bloody remind us. The present is awful enough as it is. Okay. So I've been here. I guess I've checked everywhere in this village then. Oi! What happened in this place? It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Maybe oh not. Dear. Let's try not to get killed, shall we? Oh, I don't think we would. We can handle ourselves quite nicely, right? Let us in or, uh, or let us out. What do you mean? So far, it's quite nice. First, do you think of the tunnels? I mean, I haven't really le left too far. I'm still in the town. I'm checking everything out. Uh, hello? Anyone out there? Ow! What do you mean, ow? Are you a tourist? You dress like one. Shit. What do you mean? Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. <laughs> Come in! I'm in, I'm in. in. Did you even close the door? God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Mm. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. Screw happy pills. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return you'll give me your socks. I didn't forget. Oh, that's outrageous. Your funeral. Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're so all what you're saying is they're a bunch of beaches. Starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy and it like flips a switch. And they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do. So long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! I kind of miss my socks now. Do I know how to make socks? I can learn to make it. I have to use one of those. No. I'm going to need more clothing scrap. Shame though, I really like the suit. Can I just craft a suit and deal with that later? Can I play this? No. Lame. Whatever. Mm. 
keeps falling down, my fair lady. I'll do that in a bit. Nice campfire. Okay, too many rocks now. Workbench. Can I use that to repair things? I'll take that. A safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. Requires a disposable safe cracker, you say? Nice. I'll take that. I lied for you today at 4.15. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red. And, and her voice was like Mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry. But I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you. Arthur. I love you too. I will re I will refuse to allow anyone, any woman to take my coat. My coats were specifically made for me. Nobody else. Be gone. Alright. Hmm. Let's make some of this. Make a one of those. Make some more bodies. You know what? Fuck these guys. I don't give a shit. What is in here? Hold on. British craftsmanship. Increases durability of craft weapons by a small amount. Wow. Books back in 1964. People read books to learn how to do things better. You should read all the books you can find in Wellington Wells. Wow, amazing. Uh, fuck these guys, I'm gonna go fucking head first straight into that fight. Uh, like they can take I me. Have to rip up my suit. Don't I can't believe I have to rip up my suit. Don't be such a pansy, let me fight them all. <laughs> let them learn they can't fucking mess with the jack. I really don't want to. Uh, it won't let me out unless I do. To cancel half a line. Is there really no more cloth scraps anywhere? Coarse linen. Slim. What do I do with you? Oh, these are special things, okay. So you yeah, can make different suits with them, I, I suppose. I really don't want to. Uh... suit is decent anymore. You know it doesn't I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. Didn't we 
go to school together? Miss Bing's class. Don't go opening people's boxes just because they're not looking, okay? Why? Hello? Watch out for the ones with plague. They look sick, but then they suddenly become wild dogs. Okay. I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. So the status indicators or the heads. <laughs> I suppose he's just like another rotten, rotten downer like us. <laughs> Why outline feels like this awareness to go to the more wind or in the blah 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 hostile combat NPC have the display to the quality door. Ah, health. Trespassing or stealing? What's well, screw you? Bloody garden district. What a waste of time. Oh, you're gonna stop looking back at me. Please stop crying. Jesus. I could have taken them all. At least there are flowers out here. It's hard when you can't trust your own memory, isn't it? Are you all right? Sometimes I hear horsemen at night. It's the four, isn't it? No tourists. I don't know. Rancid stew. Rancid stew, you say? Can cause food poisoning. Then I don't want it. Well, nothing lasts forever, does it? Well, well. There's more of us every day. Have you been sleeping all right? Well, well. There's more of us every day. Dude, this guy has the fucking powers of a god. <laughs> this is that one guy from the fucking little anime meme where someone kicks his chair from under him and he just keeps on sitting. Dude, like, dude, dude really has some some core strength, doesn't he? At least we're alive, right? If you find fresh food, don't try to hoard it. The blight turns things rotten sooner than you think. Uh, sh what? What do you mean, Jesus? What are you talking about? Not the bloody hell, boy! So get out! I'm out. I'm out. What do you mean? Your beamies. I mean, I could fight you if you really want to keep hitting me. Stay away from me. Stay back. I mean it. <laughs> you keep on doing this. I'm gonna get a little, a little annoyed. You really, you really gonna keep going? You're just unconscious, right? Anyone else? <laughs> no, everyone wants you dead. Like I care. Fuck out of here, dude. Mother would be so proud. Mother would be so proud. <laughs> no, I, I mean, if you really want to keep fighting me, I mean, you can. I'll just ignore you if you're just going to stand there. I told you, I can take them all. <laughs> I ain't a fucking coward. So stealthy. I don't give a shit. <laughs> give me more me fucking stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Shit, I, I can't. I, I tried looking for it, but I couldn't find it. Mrs. Kite's instructions. For friends of Miss Mr. Kite. Welcome, dear. I know the house doesn't look like much, but it's safe from doctors and bobbies. No decent person from the village comes here. The waste for population has swelled. Try to look and behave like they do. They resent that you could take joy if you wanted to. Or they cannot tolerate it. 
If they see you in fine clothes or smell that you've had comfort or and good food recently, they will become quite agitated. Best to blend in. If they think you're an unfortunate like themselves, they'll leave you quite alone. Unfortunately, hooligans and gangs, I've also realized the Garden District is out of the eye of the law. The head boys have a lair on the island. Do take care. I've prepared a cozy antic warrant for my favorite rabbit, but she might have to jump around a bit to get Getting it. Away from it all I'm not gonna die, even if my health kite. is less than half. Hey, Some sort of travel guy. No one travel. I don't give a shit. You wanna fight me, bro? You wanna fight me, bro? You, you think I'll give a shit? Go to, go to sleep. Go to sleep, bro. useful. But who is Mr. Kite? gonna take all your stuff fuck you you guys wanted to fucking fight me I'm just gonna steal everything from your plate you want some bitch if you fucking want to fight <laughs> don't run up on me like you're gonna do something <laughs> can't we work something out no <laughs> give me a shit <laughs> what are you trying to do with these bobby pins like you're actually gonna fucking use them Run sod. <laughs> I had to defend myself. She just came running up on me. <laughs> I wonder when, how long it takes for them to wake up. <laughs> Another Jimmy bar. Wonderful. <laughs> You're ruining the sadness, Jack Quiddy. <laughs> I'm not killing any of them, I'm just knocking them out. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't worry about it. It says they're unconscious, not dead. <laughs> it would have said deceased if they died. <laughs> Chopper got <gunner> inbound. <laughs> Get this sticky plank out of here. <laughs> Give me all this shit. They owe me after fucking trying to kill me and shit. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Enjoy your fucking nap. Bitch! Ah, <laughs> oh, Vincent, hello. Could be worse. I think it's got some nice, nice to talk. beans. It's good to talk. Oh, see, he's nice. He's nice. I like him. Thank you, Vincent. I appreciate you. Nice, nice powers of sitting. I guess you were a little tired after using all your core strength to do that. So, you deserve a, a, a quite, quite the rest on the chair. Thank you for being so hospitable. <laughs> <laughs> He'll finish them off later. <laughs> listen, Linda. <laughs> listen. <laughs> they were assholes to me. I think I deserve some compensation for their bullshit that they tried doing. Head boys rule slap. Nits. Head boys steal. I think I'll become a, a head boy. You know? Apparently that's the thieves guild of this game. <laughs> Can I ring the bell? What does that do? Does it annoy them when I do that? Ah, this is what- oh. You're definitely fitting the picture with your big dome piece. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite true. I, I do have to always get like the max size hat f uh, every time I really want to get a hat. So. Workbench. Access hat. Shelter.
I'm gonna go back over here and get a nice nap. To explore those caves. Oh, he's still unconscious. So cute. Pneumatic stash. Let's. God, did I have anything else? Did I not have anything I could put in there? Ah, that is the stash container. Got it. 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 Wall crafting, put that in there. Oh. Move that. I don't need no sticks. Pointy stick. Ooh. Flirt. I'll flirt them off later? What? Listen, nobody's gonna take the rest of my fucking socks, okay? Nobody's taking my socks anymore. They're my socks. Rotten mushroom. All those. I'll keep that. Exhaustion causing drugs. I'll put that in then. Dirty bandage. Stops bleeding, but can cause infection. Gross. Fuck. Random twitch. Ruin berry. Good in healing bomb. I'm not totally feeling there. Okay. It's about the crafting thing. I can make some healing bomb. Where's a Gilead petal? Alright. Well, I don't really want any of these rotten stuff, now do I? I could keep that. Can't really use that. Can't use that, wrong me. Don't need that. I suppose anything else I could just put in. Hmm? Put up the potatoes. Kale chops. Hmm. Alright, so can I put these in the quick slot thing? How do I quick slot these things? Oh, I can swap! Okay. Good night, Banks. Ooh, that's quite a neat little inventory thing they got going on. Can I throw darts? I'll take that. It's been a hard day's night, that was. Mm -hmm. Where'd that guy go? Where'd that guy go? I wish I had my pipe. Don't know where the hell it would have gone though, unless it was like right here. Sadly, I seem to have lost it. Otherwise, I would have totally gotten it back. Alright, I'm, I seem to be thirsty, so.
Well, I guess we're gonna head out now. I'm not listening, what do you mean? On the radio? Ninety-nine Pied Piper Part Two. And out of the pub, and out of the baker's, and out of the cheese shop, even the lame Smith limped from his forge to the town square. Then the piper began to walk. He walked away from the village. He walked into the dark forests in a direction that no one thought had a path. The village is all fallen. Only the lame Smith could keep up, although he tried his best. And it's a good thing too, for. Otherwise, we never know what happened. The villagers disappeared into the dark woods. The smith lost all track of them. Among the trees, you couldn't tell what direction the piping was. But soon, he couldn't hear it at all from the songs of the birds and the whisper of the trees. They died. Alright, bye, Joy. The villagers, they were never seen again. Nor was the piper. No, perhaps he was. For there are villages in old books that are not there now. And who knows if they too right. vanished in the woods in the piper's tomb. Who knows if this is a true story or just a fairy tale. Somehow. Oh, now the subtitles is caught up. Every day there's a bedtime story. Hello. Whoa. That's pretty. Wakey 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 I didn't really want that. <laughs> Get out of here. Nice purple glowy glows. Ooh. I like purple glowy glows. They're quite nice. Too bad I don't have a flashlight. Ooh! Fresh carrot! Yes, please! Where are you? Yes. Tasty.
wonder if there's more secret areas like that. Laboratory. Oh dear, someone was peeking in on some bathroom time. A little weird. Someone peeks on me in the bathroom, I'm gonna fucking shoot him. Marvelous rock. Oh. Now, where was that water source? What right there? Head boy, fuck you. Well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. Or find a cleverer way in. A cleverer. Cleverer. I don't need to go there yet. I suppose I could use the healing bomb. Just take it. Why can I not gather that? All those years on joy. We'll never get them back, will we? No. Alright, time to go to the other thing now. We've checked everywhere already. Nice. Nicely done. I think so. Ah, oh, hello. Anxious to get back home to village. Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Now where I could mug a bobby? <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? <laughs> a little bit. No. I'll trade you one. I oh, know I'm Don't not a coward. Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die. Then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. <laughs> those bastards in that camp over there. With the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back from me. I'll give you my card. Sounds quite right. dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's <laughs> what I'm paying you. Come and find me. Duh. In that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. 
Mm. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny they thought it was. No, oh, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have stole most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. I'll just take that. <laughs> well, I do think I have a parasol. No, I don't. Okay, cool. I could have sworn I picked them up, but I guess not. Maybe I put them in my storage. Maybe they're a crafting thing. What stuff? Ooh, look at that. Wow. I believe I have 44 monies. A rubber duck. <laughs> Can be used to distract targets when thrown. Marvellous. Sa uh, flash. Run faster if a bit louder. Street drug not available from doctors. Increases sprinting speed significantly for a short time. Well, I don't need that. I don't need enough drugs to fucking start running. Um. Just Just looking. I don't need that. Yeah, yeah, just looking. We don't need any of that yet. Nothing's too important right now. Not, not at the moment. Take that off. What is that? Those are quite the flames of smoke billowing from there. What's around here then? What are you? Perhaps some sort of defensible... Uh, what are those called? I forget what they're called. Bunker. Hmm. Can I use the broom to attack him with? So what is this light then? This must have been the other way around. Nothing really around here though. Ah, no matter. Warning I'm trespassing. Well, I know very well that I am trespassing. I don't really care. I'm about to go beat some people up. Yes, I know well I am trespassing. Sally would have loved this if we could never get in here. Well, clearly I could, because I'm freaking amazing. Now, darts. Rubbish weapon, unless you coat it with something fun. Inflicts minor damage to the juice, can be used to craft minor various drug darts. Hmm. I'll have to learn some recipes for that then. Where else do we have? Let's get the pointy stick. Yeah. Can I not pick that up to use as a weapon? It looks very weapon-like. Hello, nice seeing you. Oh, welcome back, Geo. Hello again. Run home, Fritz. I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. I <laughs> hope no one notices you use the elevator. Alright. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this bar. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this bar usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? I, well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad chest. <laughs> Put your things in that box. It will leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. Head boy rules. For little George's initiation, he has to 1. Win an are arena fight with a tourist. No fair fighting, waste for weaklings. 2. Fresh meat only. <laughs> Steal food not looted from, the dead bo from a dead body. 3. Sneak into the village and steal a bobby hat. Maybe make it the red bobby hat. That's a fight I'd like to see. <laughs> 4. Clean my leather jacket. 5. Stop being a dull wanker. Oops, I guess little George might not be headboy material after all. Ah, that is me. It is a very weird game, but it's quite lovely, very charming. I, I can put up a. Uh, I, I can be pretty scrappy if, 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 you, if you just let me. I've, I've, I've been in a few scraps myself. Hello, Danny. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry I'm going to have to knock you out. Hello! I'm sorry? I don't. I don't think I know you. Of course you know me. You got me sacked from the old current. Did I? I, uh, I don't remember that. I, I don't work there anymore. You thought one of my articles was insufficiently original? Danny Defoe! You, you've lost a bit of weight. To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line. <laughs> Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? All right, then. Padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? I'll choose the padded branch. And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Wonderful. Well, so guy, I got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. You got it, man. Gotta come on strong with that left pipe. You gotta wanna block that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, get the fucking shit out of here, boy! Who the fuck do you think you are then? <laughs> you underestimate my power, fool! Come on then! Ah, uh -uh. fuck out of here! Come on! Yay! <laughs> Oh, I could have sworn that should have hit. Should have shoved. <laughs> Come on then. Come on then. Can't we just agree to disagree? Now's your chance to have a double or quits. 
Welcome back. Shut up. Who the fuck are you? Well, it doesn't. It looks like I have no other option. Uh, well. Oh, excuse you. Sorry. Alright, look. I, I have no other choice. I'm gonna have to start swinging with a pipe. Sorry, but I don't think I can take you anymore. I'm just gonna have to knock you out really quickly if you just allow me to do that. Sorry, ma'am, but I would really like it if you would just get on the ground. Bye bye. That was easy. Almost died. Quite fine though. No need to worry. Got mucked up a bit, but I think I can handle myself. Let's all wish him well on his journey. Oh God, this shot. Oh God. What you got on ya? I didn't kill him. Uh, I swear I didn't. I mean, I, I knocked the teeth out of one woman, but... For the most part, I just knocked him out. Nothing there. Too many ma e angry people here. It seems they left us to starve anyway, no matter what. There's some sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. Nah, don't worry. Pretty sure I found one. Well, at least I'm going to be able to make one. There we go. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motley dispenser. That chap with Because I have to. <laughs> People will ignore your annoying habits. Oh, it's you. <laughs> to trespass me. Hmm. Huh. Unbelievably healthy. I add yet another 50% to... Oh. Well, I could use more health. I think I'll get nothing because I don't think I can actually do anything. Smother them unconscious in their beds. Ah. These are stuff that I am able to get. I suppose now that no one is active, I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. Sorry. This won't take a minute. But did you have to face him towards you? Alright. Do you have anything on you? Lock pick. Nice. I suppose I could use some liquids. Alright. 
This village is lonely, and I guess it's lonely. There's no discipline. You can also see the enemy, the footstep is nearby. Enemy is over the walls. trespassing. Don't worry about it. I didn't want to take that onion. Head boy fight tonight. Da 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 it's all fun and games uh, for every weekday. Quite real that raw that un, raw onions are not that really tasty. However, I'm sure rotten ones would be even worse, which is the ones that I currently got, which are bad. Yuck! What are you? Bathroom key. Apparently they like to lock themselves in the bathroom, wankers. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that, that terrible yeah. throw. No, what do you mean? Oh, please Here what? Down. Sorry, I missed whatever it is that you thought you heard. Was it good? Are <laughs> you neck all right there, little boy? <laughs> doing all right there? I'm sure he's fine. Just, just give it him. <laughs> oh. There you go. Come on. Come on then. See the trajectory if I hold it. Go on, go on. Go on. Yeah. Shh. Oh. It's nothing personal. Come on. Resublimated by Motley, the fuel of the future now.
Which is fine enough. Well, I guess oh, I can go to that Hamlet and give that chap his medals, and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. Can't seem to get the tea. It's a little teacup. Still need to find my stuff. Ah, well, I think that's everything I had when they jumped me. Nice. If I crouch, I bet I could disappear into those bushes. With the other flares, unless they bump into you. Okay. You see what? You. It's me. What do you mean a murderer? I oh, excuse you. I'm not a murderer. I'll have you now. <laughs> Come on then. I'll take you both on. <laughs> Why you think me a coward? <laughs> God, give a damn. <laughs> Boy, get get out of here. <laughs> I think a couple of nerds like you can handle. Excuse you. <laughs> Come on then. Oh, too much, huh? Hey, let me slow it down for you. There you go. Just one at a time. Oh, oh, you got me. Good job. But it wasn't good enough. It's not personal. I think I'll just walk right on out of here. The combat system plays well enough. I think I can handle them. Anything else? Looks like I might be able to climb that. Nope. Nothing. Alright boys, well... I'll be seeing ya. Enjoy your snooze. And that's all she wrote? Imagine Percy in the village now. He never could fit in. Not that that excuses anything. <laughs> I wish I kept in shape. <sighs> This lady's in a pit of despair. <laughs> She's in a pit of despair. <laughs> Mind the side effects. Oh, but there's a big one we don't mention, isn't there? I got your medals. Thank you. 
You don't know what these mean to me. To know that some of us fought. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We stood tall in those days. In 42, we threw them back into the sea. Then they came back in 43. It weren't the same. I had to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah, sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. Thank you. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to cross the bridge. Uh, let's make sure if we are actually ready. Ah, use the healing bomb. Hmm. Guess I probably should. It works. I feel loads better. Percy was never wrong about a thing like that. Dreamed of the trains. All right. Welp. See you nerds later. But I have places to go. Also, bye, Vincent. You're quite lovely. I don't want any rents to do, though. Sorry. If you happen to put on any fresh bean paste, I would quite like some uh, on, on some toast. If you could. Mm. I'd really love that. Maybe I should sit down for a bit. No, don't be a little baby. You barely even ran anywhere. I can run farther than that. And I don't ever move. <laughs> about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. Hmm. What have you got? It doesn't really expire too quickly, does it? How many canteens do I have? So much to choose from. Nice to see you. Can I make me a proper suit now? Oh, I can. Nice. Just make some more. Uh, before I even buy anything, I should probably check my inventory for anything. Disposable safe cracker. I could use that. Increase my inventory. Put on the proper suit another time. Actually, let me just get the jerky first. There we are. I don't have the money. I'll be I'll just now. get one then. <clears throat> How many safes were there? I think just the one. I don't think that place had the had a safe, but this place over here had one, right? In the church. Here. Yeah. I'm not back soon. I'll watch the rest tonight. Bye, Jack. Have you a fan? All right, effort. Thank you for showing up. Anyway, appreciate you being here. We used to get really loving the game so far. Bridge. That must be very nice. Right, you.
Are there any more saves? Did I have two then? Why was that open? Maybe there was one in the tunnels? I can't fast travel from here, that's a little weird. I'd really love to know why that particular bend smells of cheese. <laughs> I don't remember if there was another safe anywhere. Ah, yes, there were, uh, there should be somewhere in here, I think. Not in here. Not in there. I do think there was one. No, not in here. Maybe it was in the vent. Maybe there just wasn't one at all in the first place? Maybe not. Maybe there was nothing. No, there was nothing. There's just the one over there. I don't think there was another over here. I don't think there was one in one of these houses. I, I don't feel like there were. But if there were one, one in one of these houses, they would probably be in this house or the one that I have to duck under to get into. So it's not this one. Oh. If there were one. If I had a guess. seeing another safe here. Hey, what's that? Oh, thank you. Not that one. Not that one. No. Was there one in the house over there? Oh, I went in. Maybe there was one in here. Aha, there was. Nice. Got it. That takes care of that. thing heals quite a bit. I'll make sure to keep these things stocked up in my inventory then. Just keep on making them. Have I been in this one? Yes. Yes, I have. Pace yourself, Arthur. You're pacing yourself, what do you mean? <laughs> oh 
adelante. I want to go in there. I guess I got lucky with that thing. So apparently there's an invisible ball right there. Not on a holiday, nothing has a summer cell to go on all over to recuperate after recuperating himself swimming. Born on August 12, 1934, Arthur Anderson was editor of the Rutherlington School's newspaper, The Weekly Knowledge, and later was a reporter for the Hamlin O'Courant. Anderson joined the staff of the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. He was a member of the Religious Society of Friends and an avid player of Contract Bridge. He leaves behind an uncle, Norton Keynes, 55 of the St. George home, and a pet gecko, Sparky. We all wish him on his holiday and look forward to his return. Wow. That's quite a nice little death thingy that they got going on. I really wanted to do, be able to climb that. It looked like it was climbable, but apparently not. Still alive. I wonder if God's helping me. Hold on, what happened? I want to see if there's any food. Getting a little hungry. No, 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 no. What are that one? I'll delete that. Oh shit, did that really? Did that really? Are you kidding me? Did that really delete that? That's a little... little bullshit. Well, I guess I'm gonna end the stream and try coming back to this. Um, I'm hungry anyway, so... Uh, once I get all this done... Uh, I'll get back on. Sorry about that. Well, shit. That's a little disappointing, to say the least. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed if you did. With that being said, fuck, I'm going to go out and do that all over again. And I hope to see you in the next one. Be back probably later. Bye.